What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We're going to do a little bit of sourcing today, so come with me and see what we find. Okay, now that I have you guys along for the ride, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up button, comment down below, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. It kind of looks like the sun wants to come out today. Today's Thursday, so Friday and Saturday are obviously um, yard sale time, and hope I'm really hoping that the weather kind of gets a little bit nicer. So today I think we're going to do like Salvation Army. Up oh, there it is. Here it comes. Can't even see now. Woo! All right, let's go. All right, we're in the Salvation Army. Check out these old Reebok. These are cool. Old Reebok cleats. If they were in better condition, I mean, who would really want these? I think they're vintage. Whatever. So, unfortunately, I didn't find anything yet. I'm going to get this for my son. I think this is Marshmallow. He's a, um, he's like a DJ, does like tech music and stuff like that. He also does like pop, um, maybe pop music. Like he does like beats and stuff for people. Um, can't think of an artist that is on one of his beats, but maybe I'll think about it later. But I'm going to get this for my son. Marshmallow. All right, I just seen somebody in here earlier I was talking to. These are Levi's, and he had a pair of them on him, so maybe there was more than one pair. Um, they kind of look like they're new, so maybe the pair that he had, was there was just a couple pairs, and they were new. Um, maybe different sizes, but I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Uh, make sure you're picking up the cargo Levi's. If you can get them cheap enough, these are going to be 6 bucks. I should get at least 30 or more for these. Um, in the condition that they're in, they have the white Levi's tag on them. With this camo, I'm not really sure what these are worth, but I'm going to grab them. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and grab... This is an International Cup Blazer. This is a Heart Shaft and the Marks. That's the old label. Um, it's just really cool. It's got the designs all on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Yellow is half off, so that's going to be five ballies. And then, oh, sorry guys, having some problems over here. Technical difficulties. And this one is a, this one's a trumpeteer. Heart shaft and marks. It's not a gold trumpeteer, but these are older too. The buttons look okay. I'm still debating whether I want to pick these both up. I know I can sell them. They're vintage. Um, the buttons look all right. This one's a little more faded than that one. I might just put this one back and get that one. Then we did find a canali, but I can't find the pants to it. And it's a three button, so I know it's a suit. Boyd's Philadelphia. Um, they must make a lot of suits. Did or still do, I'm not sure. This is... It's not a functioning cuff, so I don't know. It's only six bucks, and I could probably still get about 30 or 40 for this. Uh, something like that. Being that I don't have the pants, if I had the pants, I could probably get closer to 100. And check out this Nike center check spell out. I mean, look how big that spell out is. It does. These do have a couple holes in them, but take in mind, these are a little bit older. Here's another one. It's Pittsburgh. It's got a couple little pinholes in the back. It's only going to be $2. This is going to be six. So, I mean, I think that this one is worth it, even though it does have a little hole in it. Um, I think somebody still, it does, it has a couple stains too. So, um, I have to really make a decision on this one. I still think that it's worth picking up because of that big spell out right there. All right, so I probably should be staying away from long sleeve shirts, but this is a VIP. This is vintage. I don't think it's made in USA, made in Korea, but it's like a paper thin pearl snap. It's going to be half off, or I think pink's a dollar. So we're going to go ahead and grab that one. And we have this Columbia for four. This is a nice um, roll tab. It's just in really good shape. Then we have uh, L.L. Bean Buzz Off. I'm not really sure what these are worth. I don't know if they're supposed to have a smell already on them or something. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if, that's, if I'm thinking of something else. And then this Orvis is in great condition. The color is great. It's almost like a Burberry um, 
Nova check. It's just really cool. This is going to be four bucks. I think I usually get like 20 to 25 for these. Not a whole lot. When you guys are looking for Orvis, you should be looking for like, um, like outdoor wear, more, uh, um, like safari type of gear, like the vests and the jackets with all the pockets. Those are the ones that you want to look for and leather. All right. So I tried to find this. I use Google lens. This is the vestibule circles of hell. Um, Nirvana full zip. This is like a woman's. It's on a tall text. So I'm pretty sure it's like a re, I don't think it's like an old, but it's going to be $6, five bucks. And I'm pretty sure I can get more than 25 for this. So we're going to grab it. All right, guys. So I don't know what happened to North Face, but I mean, they're just like the sales on these are just like really dropped. Um, this is an expensive jacket too. And women's would probably be a hundred something, but I think I'm going to pass on it because they don't look like they're selling. I mean, I know it's not that time of year either. It would actually fit my granddaughter, but you know, it is still cold out, but I think she probably has enough jackets. I think I'm going to get this IBM. It's three bucks. This is brand new. I don't think that this was worn at all. Um, I should be able to get at least 20, 20 or more for this. I think it's just cool. Um, it does have some spots on it. I don't know. I was getting ready to check out and I just brought a card out and it's men. So I'm going to take a look at it. Nothing today. Let's roll. All right, guys. So we're at the Goodwill. I went over into, what's the name? It used to be Sneaker Villa. All along, it was always DTLR. That was the name of the company. And I went and I'm a sneaker freak, guys. So, you know. You know, I had to go and jump on these Jordans. They were only $60, and they're okay. I mean, they're pretty dope. It's going to be hard to match stuff with them. Um, they look like they're going to be pretty comfortable. A lot of the Jordans are not very comfortable. But anyway, let's go in there. All right, guys, so I did find this Gap Made in USA. It's got a little golf image on it. It's going to be $5. It's a little shrunk um, for a large. It's kind of short. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to pick this up or not. I'm still debating, but it's starting to happen in this store also where prices are just really going up. Um, they're just really kind of picking and choosing what they want to, to price really high, and it's just it's not worth picking up, not if you're going to resell it. So we're going to keep looking. I didn't even look in the men's department yet or the women's. I just kind of did the electronics first because I figured – that I probably should do those areas first because of more valuable items, maybe. All right, guys, I was looking at this label and I was like, it looks like Zegna. And then I had to open it up and look inside it is. This is like a um, like a herringbone type of uh, pattern. It looks, it's actually, this is called an unstructured jacket, which means that there's no, there's no pads in it. There's no shoulder pads, anything like that. It's just like a soft, um, you could almost like squish it up. I'm not really sure what these are worth. I don't know if this is part of a suit. I really doubt it. Um, but um, this should do okay. Seven and a seven seventy-five on that. Um, maybe like forty bucks for that. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Whenever I see sweaters like this, I always grab them because I wear them all the time. And this one's in super clean condition. Um, if I can pay five for them instead of getting them in the mall for, you know, $40, $50 for these sweatshirts. And this is vintage, so you know it's going to last a long time. This is a good brand, too. If you can find it, it's called To Boot New York. Um, these are in pretty rough condition. There's a black pair, and then there's a brown pair also. They're pretty big size, but, I mean, they're just, like, they're really drug out and they're really worn down. If they were in better condition, I'd probably pick them up. I could get at least closer to 50 for them, but I'll be lucky if I get 25 for them. All right, guys, I have to share this with you now. Check out this pattern and wait to see what that is. But I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you what I just found. All right, guys, so this might not be exciting to some people, but to me it is. There's one Harris Tweed. They're all made by the same. They're all Brook and Dean. I'm not really sure if that brand is worth anything. Then here's another one, Harris Tweed, Brook and Dean. So there's two, and these are all going to be $7.50. So the price is awesome. Harris Tweed, Brook and Dean. And I'm going to make sure I'll look at them, make sure they don't have holes. They all look like they're in really good shape. Here's another one, Harris Tweed. Brook and Dean. Check that out, guys. Four Harris Tweeds in one spot, and I'm still going to keep looking. 
All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and pick these up. These are called, um, these are Chugger Boot. These are Aber Abercrombie and Fitch, but these are vintage. These are made in USA down there at the bottom. I think we're gonna grab these for $7.50. Um, I see them selling, they don't sell any less than 25, so I'm pretty much guaranteed to get 25 plus shipping for these. But I have a feeling that I'm going to get a little bit more. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell down below to get notified when I post another video. Comment and all that stuff. I think we did okay, guys. What do you think? Let me know down below. Peace out. I'm out. Have a good day.